Hello and welcome to another Key Smash Studios video. Today we're going to be going over layer masks in the Unreal Material Editor and how to use them effectively on a material that you can use in a game. So here I've created a material. We'll go through all the steps to go ahead and make it, but this is supposed to be a material that's something sort of like an ore vein. It looks a little wonky in the plane form, but if you come over here we can see it in the form of a rock and it looks all right. What I'm trying to do is trying to avoid something like this rock here that has just a plain base texture. We want to do something that includes a normal map and all this stuff, but you know has a different image for different parts. And that's where a layer mask is going to come in. It's going to let us go from this material onto this material. So let's hop right into this. The first thing we're going to do is create a material, obviously. And we are going to call this layer mask YouTube. So this is a blank material, and I'll pull this right over here. So on this material, we don't actually need to change anything here. We're all good with all these uh, standard base things. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about layer masks and how to set that up. And in order to do that, we're going to need a couple things. So we're going to need texture samples of 1 minus x's and lerps. So let's go ahead and put some of these in so we can know what we're talking about. So, so a texture sample will allow us to use an image. We're going to use a few of these. We're also going to use something called a 1 minus x. And that's going to let us say we want 1 less than some value. For example, if we want 1 less than the normal, uh, it's going to let us grab that value. And that's really useful when we're using something called a linear interpolate, or a lerp for short. Those two things in conjunction are going to let us take some part of an image and put it on some parts of a material. So in order to do this, we need a few different materials. And of course, I will go through them all. So I'm going to paste a few texture samples here. We're going to use four in total, two for the normal, two for the base color. So we have four texture samples here. We're going to be doing something that winds up in this base color, and we're going to be doing something that winds up in this normal. So the first thing we want to do, and I'll go, I'll go through this as simply as I can, when we take our RGB value and we grab the 1 minus x of a normal. So we need to grab a normal and, you know, I think there's a rocky, yeah, rocky normal. It doesn't really matter what this normal is. I just grabbed this because I'm doing a rock, an ore vein type thing here. Um, but this will work with all the different normals. Additionally, we're going to need some type of mask shape here. So let me swap this to the plane so we can see it. What we want to have happen is we want our normal to show up, but only on certain parts of this. So I have made a mask. Uh, it's called Lava Top. Um, I will put a link to this in the description below, just an Imgur link. You're free to use it. Do whatever you want with it. doesn't matter to me. Um, we're going to take this mask and we're going to apply it to the slurp along with this texture sample. So. What I mean by this is we're going to grab our normal here, and we're going to say we want this as one of our lerp values. And we're going to lerp between our mask that I've given and our normal on the value of 1 minus x. So any time it's anything less than white, so any time it's black on our mask, we want to lerp between our normals, if that makes sense. So you can sort of see here, we start to see this mask already pop through. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to copy this and we're going to paste this up here on base color because we're going to do something very, very similar. Again, we're going to take the alpha value and the B value of a texture sample, a base texture sample. So this one, we're going for the main thing. So we just need a rock of any type. Uh, rock slate will work. And we need a base texture. So I've created an ore vein, which is the same sample. I will also provide this. It's the same thing, only instead of black, it's blue. And that's just to give it a little bit of color. So I'm going to click and drag this into the A part of the LERP, drag it into base color. And what we can see is that it's very, very, very bright right now. Uh, and that's OK. But we can do something really quick to just make that a little bit darker. We're going to drag this down here, and we're going to create a blend overlay. Um, and this is just a little trick to make something a little bit darker. We're putting a constant 
we're blending a constant all black into that blend overlay, dragging that into our color, and it's just going to make it a little more, a little darker. So we can do that again after the lerp if we'd like everything to be a little bit darker, or we can just pick a slightly darker rock texture, like this basalt one is a little bit darker. There we have a rocky texture that has a mask. You can see that the surface of the material is different on our normal based off of our lerp and as well as our base texture. So we have this ore sort of running through this rock. I just want to do a few more touch up things. We'll put a constant here, a constant here, and a constant here. So these three constants as a whole are pretty close to zero, and I'm totally fine with that. I actually want almost all of these to be zero. I'm just going to bump them up ever so slightly um, because I do want some specular. For roughness, I'm totally fine with that being zero. This is supposed to be a rock, so on a scale between zero and one, we want it to be the roughest possible thing. Uh, but in terms of metallic, I actually want this to be a little bit higher, so I'm going to do a 0.15. And what that's going to do is just let this ore shine just, just that little tiny bit more. And then the very last thing that we want to do just to polish off this material is to do our ambient occlusion. This is going to be the built-in shadows of this material. And we can put, drop this at like 0.85 or something like that. And that's just going to make the shadows punch just that ever so little bit more. So we can go ahead and save this material. I'll pull this back over here and we're going to go to this rock and we are going to remove this material let's say we have an ice material on it let's get rid of this eyesore so obviously this looks a little bit like a rock but uh we want to just see how it see how it looks when we put things on it and as you can see with the camera not clipping. <laughs> um, this looks exactly like we want it to look. If we click and drag this onto this plane just so we can see it, we can see that when we run around and, and go into play, we get that little bit of shine off the ore just like we wanted. That's why we have our specular just ever so slightly above one. Uh, we get lots of shadows from our ambient occlusion as well as it being pretty rough. On our smaller rock, we can see that there's a little bit of shine, things of that nature. If you want this shine to go down, just pull up your pull up your material and just lower this metallic ever so slightly, and you should be good to go. But as it is, I'm pretty happy with how that material looks. If you have any questions on how to use a layer mask or how this might be valuable in the game, please don't hesitate to ask. We're always more than happy to help. If you're interested in some of the other materials that we've done on our materials playlist, I'll put a link to the description below for a materials playlist you can find on our YouTube channel. If you haven't already, check the link in the description below for our link to our Twitch and our Patreon. By request, we've had a few people ask us if they can support us somehow, so we decided to set one up. So if you feel inclined, please give that a check. If you have found this helpful, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. All that jazz, it really does help us out. As always, I hope this has been helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. All that jazz, it really does help. And we'll see you next week.